All right, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's FF Dev here, and this is gonna be Devlog Zero on our game engine series. Well, my game engine series. And in the series, it's pretty self-explanatory. I'm gonna be building a game engine. And why am I gonna be building a game engine, you ask yourself? I don't know, you're an idiot. I'm making the video, ask me. But in all seriousness, I'm gonna be building a game engine just for the experience like it's always good because I'm a software engineer student and I like to practice practice is good makes you better like yeah, if you're just trying to make a simple game maybe working with a game engine is like a pre-made game engine is the best option but if you want to maximize your knowledge it's always good to know how things work behind the scenes these uh, games that you just seen on screen are a few early projects that I have um, in production, I don't know if I'll finish them or not. Just something to kind of learn with. Um, and on another point, you can always use OpenGL, Vulkan, DirectX 12 to um, choose how your engine handles graphics. But me, on the other hand, because I'm not ready to dive into all that, I'm just going to use SFML. The SFML framework is really useful and it has all the tools and everything that I need pre built, so why reinvent the wheel? But that's not to say in a future series that I won't be touching on OpenGL. I'm either going to use OpenGL or Vulkan for a future series to build a voxel game. But the name of the engine I'm going to be working on in this series is the Frozen Fire engine. I've already made one early example of it and I want to redo it because I wasn't happy with how it turned out. So I'm going to be doing a series to show you guys how, how it goes and you can follow along if you want. I look forward to see you guys in the rest of the series. Peace out.